Hi, my name is Will Salisbury, and today we're going to go over assemblies, one of the most, I think, overlooked beneficial tools in Calvin's plant. So uh, let's go up here to our toolbar. As you can see, it says assembly view. Click on that. That should bring up your palette. Let's go ahead and um, one more time for this, bring it home. There you go. Um, as you can see here, we already have a few created. Assemblies are pre-configurations of uh, Calvert's components, so you don't have to regenerate each individual component. Um, let's go ahead and create a new one just to show you, but before we do, let's look over this pathing right here. As you can see, it says global file. This is where it's storing the assembly information after you build these components. It's put in an XML file. Um, that file is stored uh, in adjacent to your spec folder. So wherever your spec folder is, it's normally inside there as an XML. You can make one, a standard XML for your company or for your client, plop it in there, and then come here and just browse to it. Double click. There you go. So that's for, as far as setup, that's all you have to do. Okay. So let's go ahead and build one real quick. We have a 16-inch uh, line. No, 8-inch line. So let's go ahead and go to 8-inch. You have to build at least one to start off the process, though. So there's no scapegoating that. So I'm going to put this one in the middle. Put a 1-inch puppy. Sorry, a 3-inch puppies. Let's go ahead and grab a uh, ball valve. Let's see. Grab our gasket and boom. And let's do something crazy. Let's go ahead and do a uh, okay. Let's say that that's what we want for our our vent. Okay. Um, normally, you'd have just a blind flange with a tap if you wanted it to be tapped. Um, so let's say this is a unique situation but it's going to come up a lot with our client. They have a particular need for a pipe coming out of their uh, their vent drain system. So first you create your component, your standard one. Make sure you check it thoroughly because you want to make sure this is solid since you're going to be using it everywhere, basically. You have a couple options for generating this. You can go to your palette and click on the Create Assembly button, as you can see up here in the top left. or you can just simply type in make and it should repopulate with make assembly, make preview and all that. Click, go ahead and click make assembly. Okay. At this point, you're just going to select all the components that come together to make your assembly. Right click. It's going to ask you for an insertion point. So that's where is it, where you're going to attach it to the line at. So I click right there. I enter an assembly name. It's good to come up with a standard notation for this. Um, I use what it is, in this case, event. Um, which is the main component that comes next? Ball valve. And how does it end? In this case, uh, open. So it's not closed off like with a blind flange or a plug. Okay. Hit enter. And as you can see here, that vent ball valve open has already been added right there. Okay. What we can do now is take that, click on it. You have to click on it just like a playlist. So you have to click on the individual entity. You don't just double click and go into the model. So you click on it, and then up here they have insert selected assembly. Go ahead and click that. So um, you'll go and you'll take this pre-created assembly, like a block kind of. Uh, you select where you want to put it on the line. Then this is the very important part. Even though we created this with a one inch component, it lets us change the other available sizes. This is great if you have like a whole bunch of one inch and quarter inch and three quarter inch uh, drains and vents. So let's keep it one inch for now, just in case this spec doesn't have available sizes. Okay. And let's say we want to do it again. Just hit hit uh, space bar if you're configured that way. And as you can tell, this one's a little bit bigger because I chose one and a half inch when I did it. 
So assemblies are a great way to save time when you have repetitious combinations of, of CalWorks components. I recommend highly when you get into client or as a company, you sit down and come up with the, the rules for your vents and drains and create those components the way you have the best practices built into your software. Okay. That's all for today. Adios.